Hi everybody, my name is Carrie Wintwell and I'm the current Miss Rushmore within the Miss South Dakota organization. Today is the first in a series of Money Sheet Monday videos. I'm really excited to host these. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, what my platform is, why I think it's important, where I got the idea from, and maybe even give you a little hint into what's to come. <coughs> the platform is called Money Sheep, and basically my goal is to help youth build a financial foundation from which they can navigate the financial world. What do I mean by that? That seems like a lot of big words put together really fancy. Well, really, all it means is that I want to help youth learn a key set of skills, a key set of financial skills that I think are really going to help them in the future, whether it's be learning more about finance down the road or even just applying those simple skills to their everyday lives. I think that the five foundations of financial literacy are going to be so important for them in creating a base foundation of knowledge that they can use in their financial world. Let's start with where this idea came from. I guess, first of all, last spring I participated in an exercise called the Principles, of Principles and Priorities Budget Exercise. And basically the way this exercise works is you're split up into groups of about seven to nine people, and I was with people that I'd never met before. And in this group, you were given a series of proposals for the United States federal budget. As a group, we had to discuss those proposals, listen to the pros and cons, and then vote on them whether we were going to pass them or not. And that exercise told us what happened to the federal debt over the next 10 years. I thought this was a really interesting project, mostly because as a finance and accounting student, I really thought a lot about how my financial background came into play and the way I was thinking about some of these um, budget proposals, and particularly maybe some of them that had some financial concepts in there, I felt like I was able to understand them and move forward and formulate an opinion about them. I realized how important it was for me to have just a base of financial knowledge in order to understand that. I honestly think of it a lot in terms of um, like learning math, for example. When students are younger and they learn math, if they get behind it can be very, very difficult for them to learn new concepts. And the reason it's difficult for them to learn new concepts is because at the start, they don't even have that base of math knowledge to draw upon to learn harder concepts. And then they're behind forever and ever, and they just keep getting further and further behind. The same thing can be true for finance. One really cool thing I've had the opportunity to work on over the past couple months is Mr. Money Sheep. It's an illustrated book um, that's meant for about third to fifth grade, depending, um, depending on the student. But basically, uh, it's a story about a young girl who learned about the five foundations of financial literacy when she was younger. This book is actually uh, going to be set to release here soon on April 15th which is ironically tax day. More information to come on that in the near future, but I'm so excited about it. And a special shout out to my dear friend, Raina Pearson, who shared her artistic ability uh, and agreed to illustrate the book for me. I'm so excited to share all the characters with you and the entire book with you coming up here on April 15th. I'm so glad you all had the opportunity to jump on in and uh, listen to a little bit about what Money Sheep is about and my goal with Money Sheep. Uh, stay tuned for future Money Sheep Mondays and if you'd like to contact me, don't hesitate. Bye-bye!